everybody and welcome back to my Spooktober challenge. Today I have dressed up in a sort of Halloween costume because I want to get into that trick-or-treating mood because I am going to be reviewing some Halloween candy kits from a store that I visited on my lunch break today. So let's just jump straight in. So they're both from the same brand. They're both from Swizzles and Swizzles have done some of my most favourite sweets ever. They, so yeah, I'm just gonna just break open into this one first. The Trick or Treat, the perfect tub for trick or treating. So I'm gonna break into this one first. Ah, oh, it's a packet within a packet. Oh, there we go. So, you don't actually get, like, there's not a lot of candy in here. There's about enough what you'd get after going down one street if the neighbours were really, really stingy and only gave you, like, one bit of candy per trick-or-treater. Um, so this is a bit of a poor showing, guys. I paid a pound for this. Like, it's a pretty poor show. I also paid a pound for this one and you get considerably, obviously you get considerably more candy in it. But we'll worry about that one in a minute. The other thing you have to bear in mind is because they're both from Swizzles, there are going to be some duplicates. So each one I'm only gonna look at what's a different between packet to packet. But the first thing is the mini packets of Love Hearts. I love Love Hearts. Not as much as another sweet that I'll be coming across, but I do really like them. I sometimes think you can have a conversation with a packet of Love Hearts because basically they are a candy with little sayings sort of printed on them. So I'm actually gonna open one. Ooh and see what it's saying. Ah, it says, love you. That's so cute. Oh. Mm. So they're like a sherbet-y, citrusy, sour kind of fruit, but in a nice sweet sherbet -y way. I'm not describing this very well. Oh well, but no, that tastes really good. Mm. What else have we got? Ooh, we have some a drumstick here. So as I've said before, drumsticks were a staple of my trick-or-treating growing up. And what I like about these is they've actually created a Halloween-esque wrapping. Because normally they're wrapped in a, I think it's red and yellow and green paper. But what they've actually done is they've wrapped it in orange and black stripes, which is pretty cool. Ah, refreshers. These are the refresher bites I was telling you guys about in a previous video in Spooktober. Normally refreshers are served in like a big, like a long bin bar, but you do get them in these little, little chunks as well. I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna open this one. I was considering it, but no. They're the lemon with sherbet in the middle and they are really, really lovely. Oh, actually, I don't think I've come across this candy before. So this is called Snap and Crackle. It's a chew rather like the refreshes, it looks like. And it says that it's a raspberry flavoured chew. What's the worst that can happen? I'm going to crack open this one and give it a go because I've never had this one before. Oh, <laughs> doesn't want to be eaten. All right, here goes nothing. Mmm, tastes like a drumstick. Mmm, really chewy. Really, really chewy. But it is a chew. Mmm. Very disappointing. 
I was expecting something exciting, like maybe that they might have hidden some popping candy in there or something. But it was literally just a raspberry flavoured chew. It was pretty much a drumstick, just without the stick and the vanilla flavour. Oh, that was that sucked. Oh, I was so excited. Oh. Snap and crackle, you lied to me. You lied. Lied. Ugh. What else have they got? Oh, this is another one that I've never had before. It's a Mr. Chew. It's a tutti frutti flavoured chew. Might as well crack into this one as well, because again, it's one I've never had before, so I might as well see what this one's like. Ooh. It's not just one colour, it's green and orange by the look of it. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Good girl, this one's even harder to chew than <laughs> the other one. The other one at least kind of gave way. Mmm. How did I have the patience for this as a kid? I mean, it's nice. It's a different flavour for swizzles, I guess. <laughs> um, but no, there's nothing exciting about it. There was like a refresher. I think out of all the chews, I think the refresher is still going to be my favourite. Because hello, Sherbet. What else have I got in here? I have a, pack, a couple of packets of the fizzes. Now the fizzes, made in the same way as Palmer Violets, but they're not floral, they're just sour. But yeah, so I've got a couple of packets of those. And that's pretty much all that was in that pot. So I'm gonna move on to the pack, the Fright Mix. This is the Fright Mix. Um, you've already seen the Love Hearts, the Drumstick, the Fizzes and the Refreshers in there. Though I think if I open it, the Refresher Bars, ah, they're packaged differently. So basically, compared to the Trick or Treat Tub, the Trick or Treat Tub has the individually little wrapped chews whilst these are literally like, these are literally the miniature version of the original bar. So they, they're actually thin and they'll, they'll actually feel like actually eating a refresher bar, which is pretty cool. So yeah, pretty awesome. What else have we got that's different? <gasps> Palma Violets. As, oh my god, I absolutely freaking love Palmer Violets. I've said this before. I really love floral flavours like violet and rose. I like lavender as well as a flavour, which is a bit odd, but I do like it. I might just have to have one just to treat myself <laughs> and sort of get the um, sort of the chew flavour out. Mmm. It's literally, it literally takes me back to being 16 years old and taking my GCSEs. I mean, not the most Halloween-y thing, but the nostalgia is clearly there, just like in the refresher bars. Mmm. What else have we got? Oh, these, um, I'm not quite sure what you call them. Oh. Hang on. Have they changed the name? Double lollies. They used to be called something else. I think they used to be called drizzle sticks or something. And um, basically these are lollipops, but they're not boiled lollipops or chew lollipops. They're kind of like, I don't know how to describe them. They're not particularly my favorite, but I'm going to open it because the only way to really describe it is to eat one. So it's almost like a chalky candy texture, rather like 
a love heart or yeah pretty much like a love heart except for that these I don't remember these being sour I just remember them being kind of sweet but kind of bland but I'm going to taste this one and see if that's the case hmm hmm that's actually better than I remember that's actually really really like lemony hmm hmm I can literally roll with that I really really good because I wasn't a massive fan of these like these were the ones that I would trade for other things hmm oh whoops Oh, I'd like leave them till last. I did wear my least favourite. Or I'd eat them really quickly. Um, but I don't know, maybe my taste have changed now I'm an adult. Um, hmm. oh, I've eaten that. <laughs> But no, there are definitely more flavours from them than I remember. Maybe they've added more flavour. The ones I remember were, as I said, incredibly bland. But I really enjoyed that one. Well, I've been pleasantly surprised. Huh. That makes me, that makes me happy. Ooh. The last item that isn't like a duplicate. It's another lollipop. But I believe this is more of a traditional... Yeah, it's a traditional boiled sweet lollipop. I'm assuming it's orange flavoured because orange is a colour that is pretty fit for the season because of pumpkins. I don't know right, if this is going to compare to the lollipop I've just finished, but, but screw it, we're going to do this anyway. Three, two, one. Mm. Mm. it's that definitely that artificial orange taste that I distinctly remember so I hope you enjoyed this video if you've liked what you've seen please like comment and subscribe what are your favourite Halloween treats? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any ideas of things I can do during this Spooktober challenge, then again, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, follow me on social media. I am on Facebook, I am on Tumblr, I am on Twitter, and I am on Instagram. I'll put all those in the description below for you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!